you know what well let's just get right into it hey loves welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for each and every one of you guys for tuning in so today we'll be doing a video called never have i ever and yeah i know i did a poll on instagram and you guys chose well it was like a tie between a sister session and never have i ever type so let's just get right into it because yeah i know i mean yeah it's gonna be spicy so most of you guys agreed to the never have i ever well it was a tie so um i decided you know what let me just do it but i took questions from an app because i thought an app or you know ask questions that people don't usually think of and um so yeah let's get into it thank you for the questions guys i'm gonna keep looking this side you're gonna see my eyes always going this way mainly because i'm looking at myself the camera's here yeah, but like i want to look at myself a bit okay <laughs> okay okay so i'm switching the lights because i feel like it's getting a bit dark um never have i ever stolen something valuable no the closest thing to stealing was probably uh okay it had value but it wasn't like valuable like you get what i mean uh or sweets from a drawer i think never have i ever lied to someone that i that i hmm? never have i ever lied to someone and said that i loved them no never have i ever eaten something from the floor yes five second rule like come on guys let's not act like we haven't done that growing up never have i ever hidden a secret for a long time from a loved one no never have i ever had a pregnancy scare <laughs> no i've never had a pregnancy scare never have i ever eaten from the pot yes i do that all the time and my husband we're not gonna have a beach wedding so we must prepare we must you know do the things because i mean and i my, my father used to always reprimand me and say stop eating from the pot or else it's gonna rain on your wedding day and there's something about the pot guys you know when you take like those bones it's, it's left with a bit of meat Ugh. never have i ever forged someone's signature yes i have and hold on hold on i have so i think i was in grade five um my mother was not around and my sister i think she was in an extra meal activity but like i think that day we were not getting along like you know the small and our sister arguments but like yeah and um i just forged my mom's signature and like i went to detention for an hour mainly because some girl was talking and i was a prefect well i wasn't a prefect but you know like um when they put you in charge to make sure everyone is quiet so when the teacher came back i was talking but i was telling the girl to be quiet and then i got detention so that's what happened never have i ever tried to guess someone's password yes and i've tried to guess my sister's password so like growing up um like if we like we were in the same bed and we were resting together she'd be like chatting late you know and i'd always want to know like who's making her laugh who's supposed to be talking to so late you know like i was nosy i was a nosy child never have i ever stolen from a friend no no never have i ever played truth or do yes <laughs> a lot of times never have i ever been on tv yes i have been on tv and yeah i've been on tv never have i ever sent in the, an embarrassing text message to the wrong person yes but like i quickly deleted it but apparently um okay so like this james was like um you know that images if you send an image it saves on your phone so basically on iphone if we, like on on android that doesn't happen but apparently on iphone that happens and like 
it was like a screenshot of a conversation about someone some ham cheating on her boyfriend like yeah back in high school days you know never have i ever given someone a fake phone number yes i used to do that a lot growing up when i would avoid situations and like just want someone to go away i'll just give them a fake phone number and out of the blue you want to start a conversation yes you know me you want to start a conversation you don't want to talk to them you don't know them like that and then they want to talk to you uh nah like i always would give them a fake number never have i ever worn the same underwear two days in a row <laughs> yes i have i mean like guys if let's say today is friday and then like we don't we, okay no let me not use friday let's say it's saturday and we don't know much and then sunday comes and then you're lazy again i mean you're like what two days in a row right so yeah <sighs> never have i ever broken up over text yes yes i have broken up over text mm, never have i ever had someone give me flowers yes and i love flowers i personally adore flowers um even though like i have a sinus problem but i love flowers i love my flowers i love my flowers um never have i ever lost my phone no like you know what i'm so thankful to god that that has never been me i've never lost a phone i recent okay not recently but like i cracked my screen the side of my screen but i never used to crack phones never used to lose phones like i never had issues with my phone like ever um maybe because i take good care of my phone and i'm period never have i ever stalked someone i liked on social media guys okay so no i haven't like created fake accounts and stuff no i don't go all the way there like no i probably like would check his ig you know check his i don't even check twitter i'm not on twitter like that but like yeah check his twitter what he posts but that's it you know like for me and our pictures and then he must like your pictures back you know and then he follows you then he follows me you don't have to go all the way and create fake accounts no i don't i don't do that but like that's another story time actually if i will ever consider doing like story times like on my channel um yeah no there's another story that me and my friend once did well i did it for her but yeah never have i ever lied about my age yes i used to do that all the time like growing up but now i don't i think it's a thing where like people are very shocked of my age when they found out but you i'm young and what what i so yeah i used to but i don't anymore like i'm very honest about my age i don't care what you think like yeah boo uh never have i ever been in a fist fight no honey why why are you getting into fights who are you getting into fights with and who's my friend you know like when you're waiting ah never have i ever met a celebrity yes i have never have i ever been in a band okay i've been a choir conductor like growing up um i've been in the choir i wouldn't necessarily say band but like choir yes and i was a choir conductor at some point and i was singing in the choir and you know we used to do like regional competitions like you know what wedding school days were really blissful like they were really really blissful i miss those days so much because they really shaped me this is probably the fifth time pausing this video. Like, I keep getting disturbed. Yo, chronicles of being home. Uh, never have I ever lied about... Never have I ever lied about a very... Sorry. Never have I ever lied about a life or death situation. No. Why would you lie about that? And it's, and it's, you know, like, no, I haven't. Never, never have I ever binged to watch TV the whole day. 
<laughs> yes i have and if i said no my sister was gonna come at me in the comments because i was that girl this year like this year even though like lockdown restrictions kept going down i didn't like go out all day every day i would like chill at home watch netflix i used to know what's playing what's you know what's lit what's not lit um yeah no i was that girl this year shame i was that girl and i feel like i will stay that girl like i'll go out when i want to or like if i have to you know but you don't have to go out every weekend like that that's not my vibe that's just not my vibe so yeah i think I, I oh never have i ever chugged alcohol yes and there's like a story behind that uh i'm just gonna summarize it so like last year when it was my birthday i went out with my friends um high school friends um very close people and um so obviously you have shots you have a whole lot of alcohol did i not chug savannah guys you can chug other stuff not savannah not the father of the children eh guys i chugged savannah probably like two of them i don't know what was it, what went into me and was like girl you the girl and you can do this because when i got home yeah <laughs> when i got home guys you know when you have to act sober like for the sake of ish in your parents house and like i don't drink alcohol like that okay but like on some days like even now i'm on like on a cleansing situation like i haven't had it in probably like two months yeah in two months and i had it once when we went out i think uh, last weekend but like before then i had i had zero alcohol like i've been on a cleansing so on a cleanse yes on a cleanse <sighs> so i think i answered all the questions never have i ever been out with a blesser no Guys, I don't think you would know though in that situation. Okay, let me explain why I'm saying you'd never know. It's because there are those blessers that flex, me, And then there are those blessers that are like chilled. They know they are they, that they are blessers, but then they're chilled until a certain point. Until you like, you know what I mean? Identify certain things about them. But like, no, I never went out with a blesser never have i ever been with someone 10 years older than me no and i remember speaking about this um with my sister we had like a debate i asked her like actually i asked them like would you be surprised or would you like be against me marrying someone 10 years older than me and they're like nah because i mean guys i'm not against that in my own opinion i have friends that you know have been with people not 10 years older probably like eight or six but like if i mean like i know people can argue and say that no we're in a different age and time and what our parents did back then is not compared to now let me tell you there is like a 13 year old who's dating a 30 year old and like make me understand what the difference is because we're just in a different era where we just don't care about the number we care about other things <laughs> i'm not gonna speak for them because i'm not in that situation you know what i'm saying but i personally don't see an issue with it but in my personal preference no i would never be with someone that's 10 years older than me no um that's just my preference and then someone once argued to me what if like you're 30 years old and the guy's 40 would you not marry him and i, I thought about it i was like you know what still it's a no like nah i want my my husband like if i wanna like go out and have fun he should join me he should be there you know and they were like nah they're 40 year old out there that are like um you know what guys it was a conversation for another time we will resume this conversation <laughs> Ooh. never have i ever been spiked before no but i have had food poisoning and it was from mcdonald's guys i'm a fan of mcdonald's fries but i can i can't eat big mac anymore ever since what happened to me 
I ordered Big Mac and I threw up literally an hour later. And um, the funny thing is, when like I threw up so much and I ended up now throwing up water and it was a concern to my parents and they took me to the hospital. Got there, put me on the drip, they said I was dehydrated, I didn't understand Jani. And then they were like, let's do blood samples and stuff. And then the doctor's like, no man, there's nothing wrong with you. I think it's food poisoning. So yeah, that's what happened. So I can't eat Big Mac anymore. I prefer like stairs all the way, every day. Stairs, if you're watching this, one day is one day. You know what? I got you. I got you. Okay. Never have I ever lied about having a boyfriend when I did not have one. Yes. Okay, guys. <laughs> I did this mainly to like they are those irritating exes man um that want to get back with you and you don't want okay and then you know let me not even explain myself you know what let me not explain myself i don't want to explain myself for everything but i once did that and yes i'm sure girls have done that before mainly to avoid a situation or avoid explaining it yourself to someone that doesn't need an explanation you know yes okay i never have i ever burnt a pot while cooking yes i have i mean guys we've once done that in in our lives i mean whether you were starting or learning how to cook or something you once burnt a pot so i once did but now i'm a chef i am a cook i am a baker couldn't j i worked in the kitchen Never have I ever stolen makeup from a store. No, I've never stolen makeup from a store. I never. Um, the one thing I want to try though is, you know, the testers. Right now, because of Corona, there's like no testers. But I've been seeing like a lot of YouTubers like from America and everything. They would like literally do their face with testers. I don't know how I'm going to do it, guys. I'm scared. I feel like when I go there, I'm going to have to have someone to... Hold the camera for me but yeah it's a challenge it's a challenge that i want to do um so yeah guys this is the end of the never have I ever tag uh i might do a part two mainly because the other questions are the other questions are yeah i hate it guys they're spicy but okay mara okay we will do that next time please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share I really, really do appreciate you guys for tuning in. And until next time, 